to transform human mobility exoskeletons need to interact seamlessly with their user providing the right level of assistance at the right time to cooperate with our muscles as we move to help achieve this university of michigan researchers gave users direct control to customize the behavior of an angle exoskeleton not only was the process faster than the conventional approach in which an expert would decide the settings but it may have incorporated preferences an expert would have missed for instance user height and weight which are commonly used metrics for tuning exoskeletons and robotic processes had no effect on preferred settings instead of a one size fits all level of power or using measurements of muscle activity to customize an exoskeleton's behavior this method uses active user feedback to shape the assistance a person receives experts usually tune the wide ranging settings of powered exoskeletons to take into account the varied characteristics of human bodies gait biomechanics and user preferences This can be done by crunching quantifiable data such as metabolic rate or muscle activity to minimize the energy expended from a user or more simply by asking the user to repeatedly compare between pairs of settings to find which feels best what minimizes energy expenditure however may not be the most comfortable or useful and asking the user to select between choices for numerous settings could be too time consuming and also obscures how those settings might interact with each other to affect the user experience by allowing the user to directly manipulate the settings preferences that are difficult to detect or measure could be accounted for by the users themselves users could quickly and independently decide what features are most important for example trading off comfort power or stability and then selecting the settings to best match those preferences without the need for an expert to retune to test the feasibility of such a system the research team outfitted users with the jb powered angle exoskeletons and a touch screen interface that displayed a blank grid Selecting any point on the grid would alter the torque output of the exoskeleton on one axis while changing the timing of that torque on the alternate axis. When told to find their preference while walking on a treadmill, the setup users who had no previous experience with an exoskeleton were on average able to confirm their optimal settings in about 1 minute 45 seconds. The researchers were surprised at how precisely people were able to identify their preferences especially because they were totally blinded to everything that was happening. The researchers didn't tell them what parameters they were tuning. So they were only selecting their preferences based on how they felt the device was assisting them. In addition, user preference changed over the course of the experiment. As the first time users gained more experience with the exoskeleton they preferred a higher level of assistance and those already experienced with exoskeletons preferred a much greater level of assistance than the first time users these findings could help determine how often retuning of an exoskeleton needs to be done as a user gains experience and supports the idea of incorporating direct user input into preference for the best experience